So where the wall comes down and meets the foundation, we're sealing the joint between the concrete, the mud sill, and the sheathing with Huber's liquid flash. So the process is pretty simple. First thing we did was cleaned off the concrete, cleaned off the sheathing. Um, just took a broom, knocked off any uh, splatter from dirt that had gotten up there over the building process. The second thing we did was cleaned off the zip tape that comes down to the bottom of the sheathing with a little bit of acetone to get the release agent off of the tape. Then we put a bead of tape along the foundation. We used duct tape. It's what we found is sticking best to the green concrete. That's just to give us a nice crisp line where the liquid flash ends on the foundation because it will be a little bit visible. At the sheathing, we didn't care so much. That's gonna be behind the siding. So the critical place to get the liquid flash is right into that joint. So ideally, at your Mudsill is going to be flush with the outside of your foundation in a perfect world, but that doesn't happen all that much. And in this project, we had as much as a 3 8 inch overhang. So we needed to really make sure that we got a lot of sealant up in that area. So I got a bead right in that corner where the concrete, the mudsill, and the sheathing all meet. Then I put a bead of sealant along the concrete and I spread that out with the spreader that Zip supplies. And I put a bead along the sheathing and I spread that out again, nice and even. Huber calls for 12 mils of thickness, but they also say that as long as you can't see the substrate below, you've applied enough of the liquid flash. In other words, if you can see the concrete or if you can see the zip, apply some more. So the last thing to do, and you want to do this before the liquid flash cures, is to pull the tape off for a nice crisp line. 